good day and welcome back to my sad little channel now if you're new here my name is paul i'm a photographer but then again everybody's a photographer these days everybody's got a camera on them so everybody takes photographs i.e everybody is a photographer now during september we've had something called photo fest 23 and it's a compilation of different photographers all coming together to exhibit some of the work there's been demonstrations there's been floor talks it's been it's been great i've, I've loved it and today i'm going to attend a presentation by an Auckland based photographer called Dave Simpson. He shoots concert, music photography, that sort of thing, and he's shot some of the world's best. But also this weekend, spring has arrived and we've got the annual Hastings Blossom Festival. And that's basically a big parade through the city. 70 odd floats, thousands of people knocking about, all doing the thing, all enjoying it. <laughs> Sadly, after a great crystal clear blue sky, hot week, the weather's closed in a bit for the weekend, but I don't think it's gonna rain on the parade. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Well, I'm in town for Dave's presentation, it'd be rude not to use the Leica Q2 and make a few nice street style photographs. I've shot the photographs, we'll head back, do a little bit of a critique again and uh, rip my photographs apart, or if they're good, let's, uh, let's sing the praises. Hopefully there's more keepers than losers. All right, let's try. Okie dokie, let's rip into these photographs. Now when I first arrived, massive crowds all over the place and, it, and it's hard, it's hard to sort of pick out potential targets because they're just, they're just bodies, faces everywhere, it's insane. Probably one of the biggest crowds I've seen down at Blossom Parade for a number of years. I've got a few photographs just to get uh, just to get my eye in and then I spotted this Sikh fella. Now I absolutely adore photographing Sikhs. Their faces are just so expressive, they just got some serious character in there. Obviously with a turban on, they've always got big beards and oh man they just, they just look the part. And this fella was stood there cool as you like just watching the parade go by and he just looked absolutely amazing so I couldn't resist making a photograph of the guy. His white glowing beard mirrors the highlight on the pillar at the back and the reflection of the pillar on the roof there. I, I just think it works quite nicely. Um, I'm quite happy with that one for a first up shot. This one stood out to me and I've, I've left this one in colour. I've not left many in colour at all but this one was so bright and vibrant. One of the street performers, she came over to some of the kids just to do her thing. I like the family on the left hand side as well. Unfortunately there's no real connection between the two which for me probably makes this shot not quite successful but I do like the colours and I do like the stilts I could use them myself. So one of the parade entrants that was coming down the road was the Falun Gong guys and they're always quite colourful, quite vibrant, running along with the dragon but unfortunately the parade had come to a bit of a slowdown so the lads were just stood there and then along came this lady she was just about to offer me one of the leaflets but i got the camera up to my face so i just popped off a couple of shots i do like the expression on the lady's face i like the background to a certain degree but where the road is there's just far too much road now if i'd have had the camera lower maybe shooting from the hip that would have reduced the amount of road in the photograph it would have just made a, a stronger photograph quite like the shot but it's uh, it's not one of my favorites so the initial thing that got me was the traction engine. As it's coming down the road, I think it was two or three traction engines. And as they were coming down the road, obviously the smoke coming out of the chimney there. And everybody's holding the face, holding the noses because it was quite, uh, quite strong. I saw this lady in the middle there. She was covering her face. And I thought that'll make a nice shot. So I popped off a shot. Now, initially, I left it in colour. But I think on this occasion, the gang members colourful jacket there and his colourful hat and the, the colourful wheel of the traction engine I think it just distracts completely from the main subject of the lady in the middle. So I converted it to black and white and I just, I just think that zones you in a lot easier onto the main subject. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you prefer the colour or do you prefer the black and white? Personally, I'm going black and white. This one I decided to definitely leave in colour. I swung the camera around a little bit and there's a couple of gang members there. And they're, they're okay, they were just stood there presumably watching the kids in the parade and just having a good time. But the thing that got me was the, the sky. I mean, look at that sky. We get them occasionally. I, I want to say it's a mammatus cloud formation, but it's, it's not. I, don't, I, can't, I just can't remember what it is. But it's just got a, a, quite a vibrant streak through the center of the sky there. And I think it looks quite effective. I quite like that shot. The only thing I don't like, and it's just, oh man, it's, it's nothing, but it's annoying the hell out of me, is right on the, the gang member in the middle with the hood up. I've got a street lamp coming out of the back of his head. And then I've got like an area along the roof that's coming out of the front of his head and I, oh Jesus man I just can't every time I look at the photograph I, I love this photograph I love it I can't stand that friggin thing coming out of the back of Lado's head 
Ah, oh, Jesus. I could have cloned it out, but nah, I'm not into that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, I like this shot. The highlight of any Hastings Blossom Parade is always the foam cannon at the end of the parade. It just this cannon, it just goes around the whole parade route and it just spits out this bloody foam. It gets absolutely everywhere. The kids love it, the adults love it, everybody loves it, apart from photographers. Uh, I get stupidly stuck in the middle of it and I'm popping shots off left, right and centre. I'm getting covered in this foam. I'm getting absolutely, the, the camera's getting covered in this foam. And uh, so far, touch wood, I've not killed the camera doing this. One day it's going to bite me on the ass, that is for sure. But I quite like this frame, this is the first one I did. I've converted the rest of the photographs uh, to black and white. I think black and white always eliminates any distractions and I just think it, uh, it makes for stronger photographs. And I quite like this one. You've got a good age range. You've got a young baby in the dad's arms. You've got young kids knocking about. You've got teenagers knocking about. And you've got this old fella, I'm saying old fella, he's, he's a damn sight younger than me. But you've got this older fella, he's walking along there sort of smiling, happy as Larry. And I just, yeah, it's just a, an overall feel good kind of photograph. As I spoke about in my last video, in my street photography, I'm looking for emotion. I'm looking for gestures, connections, anything apart from people just stood there aimlessly, walking about on the street, just doing nothing. I'm trying to get something, something of a bit of value. And, uh, and I think I've got that with this photograph. Mum there with the young fella in their arms, he's got a lolly in his mouth, just a happy, smiley sort of photograph. I really do like this image. Obviously by this time, the clouds are starting to roll in big time and uh, we've got some heavy rain due. Uh, that was supposed to kick off at four o'clock. We got past that. We managed to escape the heavy rain, and uh, it's it's night time now, and and the rain has not started. So maybe, just maybe, we might have dodged it. But yeah, getting back to this photograph, I absolutely love this photograph. Again, just a nice, feel-good photograph. And again, another nice expression, another nice connection. Mum, young fella. Mum's probably just got a face full of foam, obviously. She's pulling her face. The young fella thinks it's the funniest thing in history and uh, everybody's happy. It's another photograph I'm, I'm quite pleased with. Now, I initially saw this, uh, I'm going to say grandma. Uh, she was walking along with a couple of kids and I thought, yeah, look at the face, look at the face. She's got a head full of foam. It looks like a nice photograph. So I took a couple of shots of the lady and then I tilted the camera down a little bit because I saw the young girl at the front there and she got a big beaming smile on her face, covered in foam. And everybody else around the frame has got quite a pensive look on the face. Apart from this young toddler down at the front there with a big beamer. Uh, and I just like the contrast between the, the expressions on people's faces here. I just, uh, again, another winner. Quite pleased with this photograph. And if you're looking for emotion, happiness, whatever you're looking for, there it is in this photograph. I mean, look at that. It just the, the, I saw these two at the front. I just couldn't resist getting a photograph. A lot of the people were covered in foam, so you couldn't actually see the faces a lot of the time. So when you did get a glimpse of somebody's face and it was a happy smiley face or a concerned face, whatever, you know, that's when I was trying to pop off a few shots. And I, I, again, this photograph, it just uh, makes me smile every time I look at it. That's a photograph that's gonna stand the test of time. I just love that shot again. This is from the same sequence as the previous shot. I just turned the camera a little bit more to the left just to get as many faces in there as I could. I saw these two on the left hand side of the frame and they, they were just absolutely covered in foam. There's foam getting absolutely everywhere but your eyes, my, my eyes anyway, they're all over the frame looking for somewhere to rest and it, it's just a, a bit of a bit of a chaotic scene that one which is which is what it was all about. I mean it was a chaotic situation uh, but for me this one doesn't work so uh, we'll move on. A couple of seconds later and I turned the camera a little bit more to my left this one works so much better because there's absolutely no one in that frame looking at me they're not aware of me whatsoever they're just concentrating on what's coming which is the foam cannon and they are just happy as laddie look at that i mean I, I just love it the whole flow of this photograph i like this shot it's got some nice layers to it i just love this photograph so uh yes another winner and as I took that photograph, I just waited a few more seconds just to see what reaction I got from these guys. And this photograph, so I, I'm finding it hard to decide which photograph I like, this one or the previous one. I think personally I prefer the previous one. Although the lady in the, on the left-hand side here, I do like her smile. She's kind of looking, she's not looking at me. I think she's looking possibly past me, straight towards the float coming towards her. Another nice photograph, quite pleased with this one again. Now at this point, I'm walking a little bit further ahead of the of the foam cannon, just to get people's faces and see what they're looking like. This one, I saw these three people here stood ready and waiting and uh, 
hopefully get a good reaction from them and it, it's a nice enough photograph but for me there's not an actual moment there it's, it's just a nice photograph of three people stood on the street waiting for something to happen it's not one that uh, that really works for me so uh, we'll move on a little bit i saw this group of people there gathered waiting and as the float got closer and closer the, the way they're leaning out looking down the street i just like this photograph it's uh, it's quite a nice shot good reactions on a few faces there i'll claim this one as another win now this photograph i'm walking along a bit further I could see this fellow, he picked up this young lass and he's spinning around with her, just spinning around and round and round. Every, every time they came around to face me, I popped off a shot. A couple worked, a couple didn't. So this one didn't really work, it's okay. <laughs> and then this one, I just waited and waited and waited and then this shot just, ah, look at the, look at the faces, look at the faces, they stand out so well. Although the background's chaotic, the main subjects stand out so well. Fellow's got a big beam on his face, Lassie's got a big beam on her face. Just a happy photograph. One that I'm sure if these guys see this photograph, give me a shout, I'll send you a copy because uh, I think it's a, a good memory for you, that one. And it's a, it's a connection, it's a, an emotion, it's definitely a moment. It's got everything I'm looking for in a photograph, that one. So, uh, happy days, happy days. As I'm walking towards this couple, this lady had got her arms in the air and she's uh, she's really whooping it up. So I thought, yes, we'll get some photographs. Just couldn't get in front of the lady in time to get this reaction. I got it from a side angle, which is okay, but an arm gets lost in the background and I just think it, it takes away from this photograph a little bit. The background on this photograph is just too messy, unfortunately. And for me, it just spoils it. There is a bit of a moment going on there, but it's just not strong enough to, uh, to compensate for the messy background, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. This one, now a few moments ago, I mentioned about not wanting to get photographs of people just stood there not doing anything. On this occasion, I'm going to change my mind because I actually like this photograph. There's a bit of a connection between this fella and the young one on, the, on his shoulder. And I just like the look on both of the faces. It's just another fun photograph. Anybody that's into street photography, budding street photographers, but you're a little bit unsure about getting in people's faces, get to an event, it's anything like this, everybody's got a camera out, nobody cares what you're doing, just get out there and make photographs. I saw this lady walking across the road with her daughter and, and the lady's got quite a bit of a pull on her, she's like, come on, come on, get over there, get over there. And the, and the daughter, look at the daughter, she's sort of, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about this man, she's kind of edging away and uh, I, I like this photograph, it's got a nice little gesture going on there between the two of them. Again, just a nice photograph, I'm quite pleased with this one. Happy days, made some nice photographs this day. As I spun round away from the phone, just to see what was going on on the sidelines, I saw this woman here, she's leaning out of the car. In my street photography, I'm trying not to get people looking at me. I want them engaged and, and engrossed in whatever they're doing. But I just like the lady's smile and it's uh, it's just mixed for a nice, a nice little photograph. So I'm gonna call this one a winner. And again, walking a bit further along the parade route, looking for sidelines, action, see what's going on there, see if there's any reactions. And uh, I've got three ladies here all with a different reaction, big beaming smiles on the faces, just having having a ball, having a great day. And uh, the only thing I'm, oh, if I'm gonna be critical, let's be critical, come on, let's, let's, uh, let's pull my own work apart, why not? The only thing I'm real critical about on this shot is the focus is not actually dead on, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's, it looks like I've focused more on the, on the cars in the background in the car park there. Uh, that looks quite tack sharp, whereas the ladies' faces look a little bit soft. And, and, if I'm going to be absolutely really critical, the lady on the left has got a lamppost blown out of her head. Rookie mistake, didn't see it at the time. Shame, because it's a nice photograph. Now, as I'm walking along the parade route, everybody's laughing and smiling and, and eager to get stuck into the phone. So what struck me about this photograph is that not one of these people is smiling, is excited. They're all looking like, what the hell is coming our way? Everybody in this photograph looks a little bit concerned, a little bit overwhelmed. A little bit like, uh, what the hell is going on here? Let's get on, let's get on, out of the way. I quite like it just for the expression on people's faces. It's, uh, it's one of the few photographs I took on this day where there's not big beaming smiles. So I quite like it for that contrast. A few seconds later, we're back into the big beaming smiles. I mean, look at this for beaming smiles. This lady at the front there, she was just, oh man, look at the face on her, she's just happy as laddie. The lady in the back out of focus, with a phone in the air, big smile, the two ladies on the far left hand side. The guys just above the lady's hand, up to the right hand side, everybody's happy, everybody's smiling. And it's got one of my favorite eateries in there as well, the Noodle Canteen. Absolutely love a good Noodle Canteen, can't fault it. Now this one, I'm just walking along the uh, parade route a little bit. I've got off the road now, and I'm walking through the crowd on the pavement. 
initially I saw these two fellas here with the phones up stood exactly the same recording whatever's going on then I saw the lady at the back there and the fella walking along the back there all looking that way but I never saw this young fella's face at the front there but it's worked out a treat that just added to the photograph and I quite like the symmetry of this shot everybody's just looking one direction counting that one as a little win this is just a little bit further up the road it was the girl there at the bottom right her face man she was just absolutely beaming i couldn't not make a photograph of these guys and i don't know about you guys but you, i look at these photographs and it puts a smile on my face quite pleased with what i've managed to photograph today chuffed to bits i can't make up my mind about this shot on the one hand i like it on the other hand not so much because the the, the foam fair enough it's just foam everywhere but the main target of this photograph was the lady in the middle i loved her beaming smile now i only took one photograph of this particular scene and unfortunately it's got a big blob of bloody foam right in the middle of the face there which is yeah it's okay but for me it just spoils it because that lady was the target of the photograph and uh, unfortunately i've just kind of messed it up unfortunately so uh, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll write this one off jeez opportunity missed here i think if i'd have got a better angle on these main subjects i would have made a really nice photograph unfortunately the angle i've got you've got advertising boards sticking out of the kid's head You've got these traffic lights running through the kids' fingers. It just spoils it for me, unfortunately. Love the expression on the mum's face. Love the gesture and the face on the kid. Love the guys around them. It's quite a nice photograph, but unfortunately, I can't get past that advertising board especially. God almighty, that just, oh, annoyed. Very annoyed. Now, this one is another one that I'm going to write off. It really did have the potential to be a cracking shot. I got right in these guys' faces. There was foam everywhere. The girl covered in foam. I just want her to look up, open her eyes, big bright wide eye, and that would have finished this shot off. But because she's got both eyes closed, it just spoils it for me, unfortunately. A little bit further up the road now, away from the foam cannon. It is on its way, it's behind me. But I just saw these guys here on the corner, and I just love the expression, I love the anticipation on the kids' faces. And I just I just like the look at them and look at the mums. Is she happy or what? Love the photograph. I'm gonna say that this is one of my favourite photographs. I love this photograph. The only negative, and, and again, it's just something you can't really control in the in the heat of battle. You can't really see everything that's going on in the viewfinder, and some things will go astray. The only thing that puts me off about this photograph is that bloody lamp post going out of the main subject's heads. Man, if that wasn't there and it's just clear sky, that is an absolute winner for me. An absolute winner. I mean, look at that. Look at that face. Look at that face. The smile. The happiness. The fellow at the side there looking up to the sky with his phone and big beaming face. In, in my opinion, it's just an all round nice photograph, apart from that damn lamppost. I hate lampposts. I, lo I love this photograph. I think these two look absolutely stunning. So I made a quick photograph as I walked past them. There's no gesture going on there. It's a nice enough photograph. It's not really hit the mark for me on this occasion, this one. I saw the potential on this shot early on. I saw this, I saw obviously the, the phone cannons giving it some. And there this youngster on the front of the float there just directing where to where to shoot the cannon where to fire the cannon and i spotted the kid every now and then she'd turn around or he i don't know if it's a boy or a girl i think it's a girl turned around and looked up at the fella firing and it was like over there over there or over here i thought right if i can get a photograph of that kid doing that instructing the bloke where to fire i thought i might make a nice photograph so i took a few different shots of the situation none of them really worked and then bang this one it just look at them honestly the contrast from the deep blacks of the machine muted tones going along we've got a cracking sky going on in the background the phone standing out really well uh, we've got a gesture from the kid smile on the kid's face for me we've got everything going on we've even got a lamppost look at the lamppost there on the far left but it's not interfering it's not bugging me it's not annoying me it's not stuck out of anybody's head for me this is the shot of the day without a doubt i'm so happy with this photograph in fact i'm going to make a print of this photograph and i'm going to take it down to the organizers and pass it on to these uh, the organizers because I, I think that's just a just a nice photograph love it love 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 that shot it's got action it's got emotion it's got gestures it's got tonality <laughs> what more can i say nothing i can't say anything more because i just don't know the words i'm just i'm just garbage now, as all this carnage is going on, and there's foam everywhere, and there's kids flying about everywhere, dodging and laughing and smiling and running, I saw this fella coming down the road with a shopping trolley covered in foam. What is he doing with a shopping trolley in the middle of a parade full of foam? What's that all about? Is he collecting it? What's that? I don't know. He asks questions. <laughs> I don't know. Unfortunately, look, I've got a lamppost coming out of his head. There's a lamppost coming out of his head. 
damned head. <sighs> Maybe I'm being too critical on these lampposts. It's not what you can do about them. I quite like this shot. You've got all the chaos going on on the left-hand side of the frame, and you've got this dad there with his with his nipper on his shoulders, and he's thinking, you know what? Let's just get out of here. But the kid's quite happy to get out of here as well, by the looks of it. So uh, I, I like that shot. It works for me. Again, I've got right into the thick of it. Foam everywhere. Looking through the viewfinder, I could hardly see anything because there's just foam running down the back of the camera and into my eyes. And oh man, it was a bit of a mission. But I saw this young fella here. Big blob of foam on his head and it's just chaos all around and I, and I quite like this photograph it's just uh, in the thick of the action nice contrast in the shot as well and again while I'm in there getting photographs that young fella there you can see him he's just turned his shoulders a little bit now and I saw this toddler dancing away there in the phone big smile on the face hands in the air just makes a nice photograph I'm generally quite pleased with these photos really pleased this young fella here covered in foam again I think he's looking up at the phone cannon at this point or is he looking up at his dad I'm not sure whatever he's doing I like his shirt look at that cool shirt it's quite a funky little shirt is that good head of hair on him there and a, and a big sort of look on his face I like that shot right now another photograph which has got the potential to be my photograph of the day I just love this photo look at the faces on these guys here that face at the front oh what a winner an absolute winner all this chaos at the back and even though there is a lot of confusion, a lot of mayhem going on in the back there. It doesn't distract from the main subject, in my humble opinion. I think this one works an absolute treat. Now, I saw this fella walking through the crowd towards me, totally covered from head to toe in foam. I like the fact that he's got a big top hat there, covered in foam, his glasses are covered in foam, his shirt, he's just, he's just blathered. Unfortunately, there's no candid moment in this photograph. It's a nice enough shot, but uh, just somewhat let down by the fact that the lad spotted me. And if you're looking for excitement and emotion, <laughs> there is in spades mate just look at that face look at that i mean come on and standing out as well the contrast from the white foam on the ground to the blacks in the photograph tonality there's a there's a good tonal range there i just love uh, i just love the way this photographs come out cracking cracking shot this is a very good contender for shot of the day saw this young fella laid down in the foam rolling about like a good one and then he just kind of lifted his head up a little bit and bang I nailed this shot. I took two or three shots of this sequence. This one worked so much better than the other ones. It's just nice and clean. Uh, got a nice little expression on the fella's face. There's a lot going on there. He's big, he's bold, but the shot's in his face, and I just I just love this shot. So far, there's three photographs that are my contenders for shot of the day. This one was the last main shot. So uh, from there, I went to my intended target for the day, which was a photo talk by a guy called Dave Simpson. He's a concert and music photographer based up in Auckland. Now Dave has got a selection of his photographs exhibited throughout Hastings and Napier during Photo Fest. Came down to the main gallery to give a bit of a talk, yeah, just to give people an insight into what concert photography is all about. So this was the first photograph I made. He, he put a photograph of Alice Cooper on the screen and just, just so people know, Alice Cooper is the guy on the screen. Dave Simpson is the guy on the left, just, just so there's no confusion. So I wanted to try and get a, get a photograph of the two up. I've worked my way to the side a little bit. The second photograph, I've got Dave doing a little bit of an expression as he's talking about this photograph. And I've got a little bit tighter in there. And I think this one works a little bit better. You've got sort of Dave doing his gesture thing, whatever, whatever he was talking about, I can't remember at the moment. Then you've got Alice sort of seeming to be looking towards Dave with a, what the hell are you doing kind of face on. And I, I quite like that shot. And then Dave put another photograph on the screen. It was of the band, The Streets. And he was saying that, you know, sometimes bands come on stage and they get these bottles of champagne or whatever. And apparently this guy looked down at Dave and said, is that an expensive camera? And Dave said, yeah. So the guy cracked open the bottle of champagne and absolutely soaked Dave, which was, uh, yeah. Uh, so Dave was telling us about this. So I'm thinking, right, let's get a photograph of this, you know, as Dave's explaining it. Unbelievably, I managed to get a photograph of Dave sort of gesturing that, you know, the champagne was going in his mouth and he's trying to spit it out and whatever. And I, I just think this makes a nice photograph. Uh, I'm quite pleased with this one. Uh, and that was my last photograph of the day, guys. All done.